Let's look at this question. Now well, it looks like a very long question, but let's read it first. Kim takes two hours to travel from town A to town B, and another one and a half hours to travel from town B to town C. The distance between the three towns are shown below. Find her average speed for the whole journey from town A to town C. When I'm doing speed questions, I usually like to draw in my distance line, or you can call it a timeline. Depends on how you look at it. Right? So this is what I'm going to do. I will have town A followed by town B and then town C. Exactly the way they've shown it to us. And on top, I'm going to put in my distance, which is 180 kilometers from A to B and 240 kilometers from B to C. And they have also given us the time. It says that Kim takes two hours to travel from A to B. So therefore, the time here would be two hours. And he took one and a half hours to travel from B to C. Well, from the looks of it, it looks strange, isn't it? A to B is a short distance, but he took two hours. B to C is a longer distance, but he took a shorter time. It doesn't really matter to us because what's important is that we are looking for the average speed from A to C. Now ask yourself, what do we do when we are looking for speed? We are looking at distance over time. Do you know what's the distance that Kim covered from A to C? Well, the distance would be 180 kilometers plus 240 kilometers. Am I right? That will be 420 kilometers. And then we are looking at the time. Because what we want is distance over time. Distance divided by time. What is the time that Kim took to travel from A to C? Well, first he took, she took two hours. Then she took another one and a half hours. Therefore, the total is three and a half hours. From here, we have already found some important details. We have our distance, speed and time. We know that our distance is actually 420. Speed is something we don't know. And time is three and a half. With this, we will be able to say that to find speed is actually 420 divided by three and a half. Well, make use of your fractions now. Who says fractions cannot come appear in speed? Is appearing now. 420 divided by 3 and a half. We're going to do a little bit of fractions here. Now nobody can divide fractions, so let's just do some magic to it. Huh? 420 divided by... We change this into an improper fraction. We will have 3 times 2, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Therefore, 3 and a half is equal to 7 over 2. Like this. And from here, our magic would be to change this into the times and swap the back fraction. From here, we can do our cancellation and we know that our answer is 120 kilometers per hour. This working has to do with fractions. But if you know how to put in your formula, then you won't have a problem. You see what I mean? Of course, you must be very well versed in your fractions too. Or you will know your formula, but you will not be able to get your answer. You see, math is all about mixing all the different topics together. So you have to master one at a time. Remember, average speed is total distance divided by total time. Remember, they were asking you for average speed from town A to town C. 
So you look for the distance from A to C and the time from A to C. Do not take the total speed and divide it by 2. You do not have to divide it by 2. Remember that. Because average speed is all about consistency throughout the whole journey. We are making an assumption here. We shall be looking at some examples in a short while.